Want to go uh, to Pinellas County now, where our Chris Rogers is live in St. Pe you moved to St. Petersburg now, Chris. Yeah, Josh, Caitlin, good morning to you. Now, this is a great example of what we were talking about earlier. We were driving around assessing damage in this tropical neighborhood in St. Petersburg. This is what we came across. Very dangerous situation. As we turn this corner on South Shore Drive Southeast, we came across this down power line with a tree on top of it. We were just inches away from hitting this line with our vehicle. Luckily, uh, I was able to see it in time and put on the brakes, but this is a very dangerous situation. We called 911 to report this. Uh, we are uh, under, we understand, whoop, and as we speak, you can see police pulling up to assess this situation. Uh, first responders on the way as well as fire crews uh, to make sure this area is manned and, and, and blocked off completely and that uh, a similar situation that happened to us doesn't happen to someone else because it could have been a whole lot worse if we ran into that power line. Uh, luckily, we did see it in time. But this is what is indicative of what's happening across the Bay Area and certainly here in Southern Pinellas County. There are down power lines across the area that so far first responders have not been able to get to or have not been notified about. And in the dark right now, this is a very dangerous situation. You can see there's a lot of standing water right behind me. Uh, that could be potentially energized. We're standing at a safe distance uh, and it doesn't seem to be sparking at this time. But again, as we came on the air here, you saw police arrive on the scene uh, to make sure this area is cordoned off and make sure no one runs into it. But this is just so important to remind our viewers at home that this situation could happen to you. Luckily, we were taking it slow. We were going very slow speeds. Uh, but it's a good reminder that if you do go out this morning, especially in the dark, you can't see much. We showed you a power line earlier, a, a down power line in a very well-lit area that the police were attending to. This is not a well-lit area. Power is out in this entire community. There doesn't seem to be any generators, and there is significant wind damage. So. When you see a down power line like this one behind me, it's so important to not only report it, but also to keep a safe distance. Uh, I mean, of course, again, I, I, I want to reiterate uh, how fortunate it was that we were able to take it slow uh, and not run into it. We came within just inches of running into that power line. That could have been a very unfortunate and dangerous situation for us. So. This is what's happening across Pinellas County, uh, across southern Pinellas County, certainly in this St. Pete neighborhood. Um, down power lines in the dark, that's a deadly, deadly combo if, uh, if, if you take a turn too fast or if you don't see something. Luckily for us, this one happens to be still partially up on one side, so uh, you, you, it was very visible when we turned the corner, but many of these down power lines are on the ground, and that's important to remember. Be so aware when you're driving, if you have to walk, we encourage you, of course, again, to stay home right now uh, until first responders, police, the fire department can assess the damage in these neighborhoods, can find these down power lines. Uh, I spoke to the 911 operator and he sent someone out right away. So that's uh, very lucky now that police are on scene and they are aware of this situation. This is a neighborhood that has suffered some pretty serious wind damage. I want to divert your attention here and I've got my flashlight so I can show you look at this this uh, was once a porch um, and and part of a uh, part of a, a raised porch here potentially a carport uh, that has been completely destroyed so this is an area that really saw some significant wind it's still pretty windy right now we're seeing some rain start to come down as well so certainly a very dangerous situation uh, in many of these St. Pete neighborhoods uh, in in neighborhoods across southern Pinellas County, there is no power in this neighborhood. You can't see really where you're going. We had the headlight beams on high. Uh, we've got flashlights, of course. It's a very powerful flashlight um, that we're traversing these neighborhoods in. But again, we have to keep a safe distance here as police right now uh, cordon off the area and make sure that no one else runs into this. Fortunately, um, there's not many people out and about right now. Uh, so luckily people are either out of this neighborhood or hunkering down without the power on. But guys, just another reminder how dangerous it can be to be out in these conditions right now, especially in areas where there's no power at all. Yeah, Chris, pl please be careful out there. Yeah. Um, a, a prime example, and I'm glad to see that at least police are out there. Uh, you said you were in South St. Pete. Where exactly? We're in the Tropical Shores neighborhood, and I can tell you the exact cross section. This is 30, uh, sorry, excuse me, South Shore Drive Southeast and 22nd Avenue Southeast. So this is this intersection, and right at the intersection is where that downed power line is. Um, 
This was just upon entering this tropical shores neighborhood. Uh, we saw this and we saw the wind damage. Uh, so there's no telling how many other power lines around this area are down right now. There's no power, obviously, in the neighborhood, so that means there's been significant wind damage to them. Um, so they, they, they could be all over the place in this neighborhood. So we're going to make sure to, to stay safe. We're going to talk to this police officer here in a minute uh, and, and see if the officer has seen or heard of any other down power lines in the area. What so this is just one of many uh, very dark neighborhoods right now where this could be a real possibility, Josh mm -hmm. and Kayla. Chris, would you mind showing us that that damage to that structure again? Because we, we were, we're getting the uh, morning report here from the city of St. Pete, at least preliminary. You know, the city, considering that they that they said they didn't suffer much significant well, damage, yeah, at least. I but to... I, I would like to see that there are definitely some isolated incidents there. If you can show us that again, and then I, I know Caitlin had some information, Well, I just think too. that's what's deceiving for so many people, right? Is that if your own backyard didn't experience damage or, or you're not seeing that scene, you know, you're the lucky one this morning in St. Pete. And so, you know, count your blessings because if you step outside, uh, if you don't listen to the warnings of emergency officials, this is what you come ac across. These down power lines, uh, other people did experience some damage. Thank God, not as much as some other areas here in Florida that have seen devastation. But yeah, Chris, if you could show us again there, it brought everybody's attention to the screen, um, the damage there. Yeah, and I'll show you to you in just a moment. I just do want to reiterate to our viewers as well. We're going around looking for damage. This, the, they are isolated incidents. I don't want to uh, spread the message that this is some widespread damage across uh, the St. Petersburg and Southern Pinellas County areas, but there certainly is incidents. And uh, we'll get my photojournalist here to pan back, and I'll put the uh, flashlights kind of going back in and out. But you can see the extent of some of the wind damage that took down. Um, what is? I think that appears to be a balcony or part of at least an overhang that is completely destroyed uh, and part of the roof seems to have been ripped off right along with it. I'm not even sure if that could be potentially part of the roof that came off and collapsed right there. And uh, hopefully people at home are seeing kind of the extent and how damaging those high winds can be. This is obviously an area uh, in St. Petersburg that saw high winds and um, we're gonna kind of check out other surrounding houses and homes and lines and power lines and, and and see if there's other areas that saw that kind of damage but as far as damage goes in st petersburg um again you you just said it perfectly a moment ago caitlin just because you're not seeing damage at your house it doesn't mean there's not damage at your neighbor's house it doesn't mean there's not damage at your family or friend's house there are people in st petersburg that although fortunately we didn't get the brunt of the storm here and we of course feel so bad and our thoughts and prayers are with what our friends and neighbors and colleagues in uh in the southern southern parts of florida uh, in the fort myers area certainly and in parts of our viewing area as well there there is damage here in st petersburg there is damage in uh southern pinellas county we showed you some some toppled signs of plazas in largo we saw down power lines in largo we're now seeing down power lines here unmanned ones previously so there is certainly uh, incidents of damage so when the sun comes up this morning and people waking up right now and you're looking outside and you think to yourself we uh we really caught a break here just remember, there are people that didn't in this area, even though it wasn't hit as hard. Yeah, Chris, thank you so much. You've done such a great job out there giving us a view of the Pinellas County area. Again, sunrise expected just after 720 this morning, so that'll give us a much better view. And I just, I mean, I want to let you know, we're, we're on air, you see our faces, but we have so many people working behind the scenes tirelessly around the clock uh, to help keep you informed as well. Our, our producers are uh, so many people working to get the information that you need. So I do want to do just a quick overview here from St. Pete. The PIO has said, again, Police, not yeah. widespread damage throughout St. Pete, but they are seeing down trees, uh, debris. They're seeing down power lines as well as we've shown you. Um, and they are waiting for that sun to come up this morning so that they can get a better assessment of, of that damage and, and help to remove it from the area to clear it. They did confirm 79 traffic signals are out throughout the city. Uh, so you want to be very careful. If you are getting out on the roadways, you should not be. But if you are in an emergency situation and you need to get out, just be advised that there are uh, several traffic lights out. Police they uh, have resumed their services, as you can see, responding there for Chris. Uh, fire responded to one house fire. That was around 10 o'clock last night, a little after 10 o'clock uh, on 7th Avenue Northeast. Real quick, so. since we're talking.